In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, we once again acknowledge first our sins, our shortcomings, our infidelities, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Holy Father, in your divine wisdom and love, you chose that the Blessed Virgin Mary should play her part in the mysteries of our salvation. Grant that by heeding the words of Christ's mother, we may do what he commands in the gospel he has given, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for everything under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot the plant. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace, and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rent, and a time to sue, a time to be silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the sons of men to be boosted about. He has made everything appropriate of its time, and has put the timeless into their hearts without man's every discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done. The Word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in whom I trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Lord, what is man, what you notice him? The son of man, what you take thought of him? Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadows. Blessed be the rock, my rock. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, the son of man came to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a wedding in Cana in Galilee. The mother of Jesus was there. 
Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does this, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stones, stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washing. It's holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told the servers, fill the jars with, waters, with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then Jesus told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it and when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine till now. Jesus did this at the beginning of his signs in Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory and his disciples began to believe in him. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Nakadaan na po kayo doon sa extension 2 ng Skyway. Um, <clears throat> from Balintawak to Alabang, uh, just a little bit more than 30 minutes. Uh, hindi mo na kailangan dumaan pa sa Manila at mas stuck sa traffic. Kaya lang, pagdating mo doon sa toll gate, doon mo marirealize yung katotohanan ng kasabihang time is gold. Sapagat pag nagbabayad ka na, gold talaga. But many of us would still uh, pay that extra just to save time. No? Uh, ganun kahalaga ang oras para sa atin. Um, I remember that. And I always amuse myself every time na napapadaan ako doon talaga kasing time is gold. But in the, in the readings that we had today, the, particularly yung first reading, the reading from Ecclesiastes about time. There is time for everything. And it puts everything into perspective. Not, not just a human perspective because we are bound by time, but in God's perspective. As human beings, we are very much bound by time. No? Uh, our life is very much affected by time. Bawa na lang, nalilate kayo madalas sa trabaho. May consequence yun. Bawa sweldo at baka masisante ka pa. Kung nalate ka, nung unang date mo, eh baka hindi kayo ngayon. Ano, magpapasalamat ka ba? O hindi? No? So we're bound by time. May mga nakakatakot din. Halimbawa, I'm sure na, na marami kayong mga kwento na naririnig na na late at hindi nahabol yung time niya doon sa pagsakay sa eroplano, hindi na nakapasok. Pero nagpasalamat sapagkat buti na lang na late ako kasi bumagsak yung eroplano. Pero may, mga kasabi, may kasabihan nga rin po tayo, pag oras mo na, oras mo na. No? Uh, it's not our control in God's time. Kahit nasa negosyo, di ba? Time bound. No? Ngayon, mahal ang dollar. Ano, magbibenta na ba kayo ng dollars ninyo? O mag-aantay pa, baka tumaas pa. Timing ang importante. Na forex, timing ang importante. Sa mga magsasaka, mahalaga rin yung oras ng pagtatanim, yung panahon ng pagtatanim. Kailan ba dapat magtanim na meron pang tubig, pero not also yung too late na, na baka abuti na ng bagyo. Timing is very important for us human beings. So in the first reading, we are reminded that there is a proper time for everything. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to weep and a time to laugh. But there is another beautiful lesson in this that as human beings, hindi lagi sabay-sabay. Ay, madalas nating sabihin yung mga katagang sana all. Pero hindi talaga sana all, di ba? No? Hindi talaga all, everything. Hindi talaga pantay-pantay. May nakakaangat, merong hindi nakakaangat. May nahihirapan sa mga panahon na ito. May mga nagsasaya din sa mga panahon na ito. Perhaps during this time, it is my time to speak. 
and your time to listen. But a little bit later, it will be your time to speak and for us to listen. It might be that my time, your time now is to laugh, but my time is to mourn and to undergo pain, to go through suffering. Hindi sabay-sabay. Kaya nga, napaka-importante yung sense ng community. Sipin nyo na lang, kung dito sa loob ng simbahan na ito, lahat tayo ay nagmumorn. Lahat tayo ay tawag nito uh, in, in pain. No? Uh, I think it's something that is very miserable and very tragic. Marami pumupunta dito, yung iba may hinihiling, yung iba nagpapasalamat. Yung iba gusto ma-extend, yung gusto naman, yung iba naman gustong mahintuna, no? Yung iba gustong gumaling, yung iba naman ay gusto makapagtrabaho. Iba-iba. So hindi sana all and therefore there is time for everything. It might also be that for some it's time to embrace. But for some it might be the time to let go. Kaya iba-iba yung sense of time natin. While we might not understand many things sa buhay natin, the ending of the first reading reminds us that human timing might be very complicated. But the ending is consoling because it reminds us that time can also be seen from the perspective of God. Ang ganda ho ng, ng ending ng first reading. He has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the timeless into their hearts without man's ever discovering from beginning to end. The work which God has done, kahit na nga ho yung mga iba't ibang relihiyon ay kinikilala ito sa mga Arabo, sa mga Muslim, na uh, I'm sure naririnig nyo yung mga katagang Inshallah, in God's time, not in our time. And for us Christian, we continue to say, God willing and in God's time. Even in the gospel that we read today, the Lord asked Mary when Mary said, Anak, naubusan na sila ng alak. And then the Lord told Mary, It's not yet my time. How does this concern you, woman? But Mary recognizes so much that God's time is not our time. It's as if Mary was reminding Jesus that whether it's time or not, you know that people are in need. And when people are in need, it's God's time once again. My dear friends, when we are in need, we do not simply remember our time, but we also need to remember in God's time. Anong oras na po ba? Is it your time or is it God's time? Can you all stand? Let us pray for our needs so that like Mary, we may respond generously to God in our daily lives. And for every petition, we shall say, Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and religious leaders, that they may remain faithful and committed to the task of shepherding the faithful, especially those who have lost their way, that may be led back to the path towards Jesus. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us that our government leaders may find inspiration in the life of Mary, who lovingly served the Lord in accepting the responsibility of bearing and raising the child Jesus. May they serve the people in the spirit of charity, putting aside their personal interest and advancing the common good of the people. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. That the love of God made incarnate in the world through the Virgin Mary Inspire us to share the same love with one another, especially to the poor and the marginalized in the society, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For all the people departed, that they may see face to face the radiance of God's glory in heaven, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For our personal intentions and for the intention of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We pray. 
Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. God, our Father, through the intercession of Mary, fill our hearts with your love, and as you revealed to us by a star the birth of your Son as man, so lead us through his sufferings and death to the glory of his resurrection. This we pray to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed day, you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you for the divine work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Lord, with loving hearts, we bring you these gifts change them into the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your Son, what the request of his mother, change water into wine, and by this miraculous sign foreshadowed the hour of his death and resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with loving care for the bridegroom and his bride, she turns to her son for help and tells the servants what he commands. Water is changed into wine. The wedding guests rejoice. As Christ foreshadows the wedding feast, that is his daily gift to his bride, the church. In this great sign, the presence of the Messiah is proclaimed. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit is foretold, and the hour of salvation is foreshadowed when Christ will clothe himself with the royal robes of his passion to shed his blood on the cross of his bride, the Church. Now with angels and archangels, with the whole company of heaven, we sing the unending hymn of your praise. Holy, we, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake on the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring 
bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ. Peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord God, filled with the sacrificial meal of the body and blood of Christ, we ask that in imitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may follow Christ faithfully, provide for the needs of the Church, and together foreshadow the coming of your kingdom by the unity of mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pakikiisa po ninyo sa banal na misa at sa pagdalaw sa minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we also start the novenario, so we welcome you once again to join us in the novena prayers, in the rosary, and then during the feast day po, uh, for the first time again after uh, the pandemic or because of the pandemic, uh, we are now, we are going to have our procession. So we invite you also to join us in the celebration. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God, through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. Amen. And may the, om the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing po ng mga may sakit and then to be followed by the prayer for the blessing ng inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, let's bless them. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.